My mother was diagnosed with uh, Alzheimer's um, in 2012, I believe. And for us, it meant um, really just dropping everything and trying to figure out what her needs were to understand what the disease was. I did receive a number of calls from strangers uh, that she was lost or hungry. Uh, that's at that point when I decided that I had to take her in and try to, to figure out our options for her. It was a devastating experience to leave a loved one behind uh, when you don't understand fully the disease. And um, I was losing her. I was, her mind had, was deteriorating as I said and, and um, I didn't think she would last the year. I didn't think she was going to make it. Shortly thereafter, um, she did have a fall, a significant fall, um, where uh, she broke her neck and she ended up um, again in ICU and hospital um, and they repaired her neck. I wish I could remember because I, I have no pain because I don't remember having any pain. Did I have a body? Did I have a mind? I, I, I don't know. I don't remember anything. She was in ICU. She was attached to all these machines. She had a breathing tube in. Uh, she had a neck collar on because she'd broken her neck. Her face was just swollen almost beyond recognition. And as I stood at her bedside and prayed for her, I thought, I don't think we're going to see her back at Minnow Place. And I remember praying at her bedside and just asking God for mercy in bringing her back. And, and it was a long journey, but then she came back and suddenly she was getting so much better and not just physically, but also cognitively. Tell me why you think this is a miracle. When I look today at the people with Alzheimer's and think that I was like that and I was even much worse than that because I went down to zero and they're not the one I see, they're not down to zero. And I say, there's no way I could get out of that by myself. No way. With no intervention interv by, by God. It, it has to be God. It's a miracle because no, nothing else would have, would have taken me out of there. So it was really a miraculous change that none of us could even fathom. And, and then, I mean, this never happens where residents in long-term care improve so much that the care staff are saying and the doctor, they can be an independent living now, you know, and for her to move, it's usually the other way, right, of people moving from assisted or independent to long-term care. But Mariette came, came the other way. Because there's so many Alzheimer's patients, I, I don't know why I'm so different, you know. I mean, why did God choose me to get better? Maybe he wants me to, say, to give hope to people. I feel that prayer is a crucial piece of our work here, not just the chaplains praying, but, and this is what we see every day, the residents praying for each other, other staff uh, in housekeeping, cleaning the room and then coming in and seeing that a resident is distressed or not feeling well or discouraged or grieving. It's a community of care and, and prayer is at the heart of it. How can I describe my God? He's everything. Everything. The creator, the creator of everything. You know, we talk a lot about miracles and I do truly believe that. Because she's, she's my mom again. She's my mom. It's important to, to have her back. Because she wants to help people. She wants to Ensure that people understand that, that what Alzheimer's is, what dementia is. Because honestly, until you experience it, it's, it's hard to believe that this happens. It's hard to believe that somebody comes back from this. So yeah, it's a miracle for sure. No question. <laughs>